Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to the series of tutorials on uh, TestLink. Today we will uh, learn how to generate reports in TestLink. Yes. So reports and matrices, they are very important to check from time to time uh, how the journey is going for your particular uh, test project. And uh, so let's see, uh, we'll log in. Okay, so yeah, right hand side, if you see this link is there, test report and metrics. Click on that link. And yeah, so this is the report and metrics uh, homepage. And uh, this is the description of test report and metrics. Uh, reports are related to a test plan and this test plan could differ from current test plan for execution. Uh, you can also select a report in the format all these formats are available in which you want your report uh, so uh, let's try to generate a report sample report and uh, okay uh, so just uh, before generating any reports check it out which project you are working on or which project report you want so we'll go back to test project one as test project two is still incomplete things are not defined out there yes so test reports and matrices okay so yeah so this these are the formats that are available uh, as of now it is showing html ms world and email uh, and this is the test plan that uh, currently it is shown that is available here so let's try to generate a report so there are many reports listed out here test plan report test report test report on builds uh, general test plan matrices uh, test case assignment review, test result matrices, etc. So let's try to generate this test plan report. Okay, so these are uh, the things that you want uh, to be generated in your reports. You can check, you can uncheck, whichever. So say for example, if you want to select all of them, click here, it will uh, check all these things. It will uncheck all if you want to select some specific things you can do that so I prefer to check all these things and after you have uh, checked all these uh, you know the columns uh, click on uh, the top folder see select the top line in tree menu for all specific elements to generate a document content so whichever uh, uh, topic you want to generate a report on just click on that for example I will click on this test project one and see voila so this report is generated test link uh, test plan design report so because we have selected this uh, test plan report the name of the project name of the test plan uh, printed by date the table of contents and even uh, see the links are also present click on here you'll go directly to platform click here yeah checking the login functionality that is a test suit so it's uh, you know it is very easy to generate reports and uh, it's you know it looks very good also so most of the things here are not uh, defined as of now so it's just a sample report that uh, we have generated out here okay so similarly we have other reports as well uh, test case assignment review test report on builds say for example we click on test report on builds uh, as of now we see only one build out here and uh, again these are the contents check uncheck I'll check it all click on the project and yeah we got the build report this is the test build one and all these table of contents test project test planning builds which platform is used what are the test suits you have used test cases along with all the details okay so i hope uh, it is clear to you all uh, you can generate any reports from all these uh, links mentioned out here thank you very much guys uh, for watching my video and for any comments, 
for any feedback sorry uh, just put your comments uh, and i'll try to answer all your questions and if you like the video please uh, do subscribe and share my channel thank you very much bye bye